Hey guys, it's Deborah. This is gonna be super fast because I'm trying to get about my day, but then my friend texted me something about an article and I was like, are you even kidding me right now? This just verifies all the more the fig tree prophecy. Uh, this is amazing. It's, it's an article and I'm gonna share it with you now. And it just all the more gives strength, proof, weight to the fig tree prophecy. And for any of you who do not know what the fig tree prophecy is, uh, basically it it defines our time period until the rapture and the tribulation. And um, I'll, I'll read you quickly where it's derived from. Most of you already know, but just super quick, and then I'll get into the article. So, I'll, uh, yeah, Matthew 24, lesson of the fig tree, verse 32. Now learn a parable of the fig tree. When his branch is yet tender and putteth forth leaves, ye know that summer is nigh. So likewise ye, when ye shall see all these things, and he's talking about the things before the very end, Know that it is near, even at the doors. Verily I say to you, this generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. So there's a certain generation that shall not pass. What generation? The generation he's talking to? No, because they didn't see the end times. They were the disciples. So there's a generation that will not pass. And how long is a generation? And most of you know all this. I'm just setting you up for anyone who doesn't know, but... A generation is defined in Psalm 90.10. It says, Our days may come to 70 years or 80 if our strength endures. Yet the best of them are but trouble and sorrow, for they quickly pass and we fly away. Sorry if you hear noise in the background, my kids. I'm trying to like get going here, but I just had to do this quickly. So what does it say? It's 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 70 years, but 80 of strength, but those 80 are going to be um, sorrow and trouble. So that would make sense that 70 years would lead you up until the tribulation and the last 10 would be sore on trouble. Now to the to the um, article. So this was Breaking News Israel and it was February 13th. I never heard any report on this, but it's pretty amazing. So Israel's defense minister said we are now in an era of the third temple. So clearly they're expecting the third temple. That is important clearly for the tribulation because the Antichrist will sit in it and do the abomination desolation halfway through. Here's the article. It says, Bennett then reminded the captive audience about the history of the kingdom of Israel, saying, We have had a state twice. We ruled as a united people. The first time it only lasted 80 years. King David, 40. Then King Solomon, 40. After that, we separated. So he's talking about when they were united and they were able to have a sovereign reign. The second time, we were we were sovereign for only 74 years during the Hasmonean dynasty, he added. So there's only been two times that they've had a sovereign, united nation, state of Israel. One time for 40 years and 40 years, and one time for 74 years. Now, I'm not sure about King Saul. I'm still looking into that reign. Um, but maybe it has something to do with, he's talking about the fact that they were sovereign and united for these different reigns. They've never reigned more than 80 years. What did it just say? 80 by strength. That would totally fit in for the fig tree prophecy that now Israel is yet again after 1948. Sorry, my kids are really banging. After 1948, they became a nation. Now they're going into their, I think, 72nd. There's their 71. And think, 80 years is the longest they've ever lasted. This totally gives weight and proof. I didn't realize they have never been um, sovereign for more than 80 years ever. Here we go again. Is it going to happen more than 80 years? Anyway, I, I found this because it's on the Hasmonean dynasty. I found this in Wikipedia because he said that he talked about the Has, um, Monian, Hasmonean dynasty and I didn't know much about it. But it says here that um, Hebrews were a uh, ruling dynasty of Judea and surrounding regions during classical antiquity between 140 and 116 um, BCE. The dynasty ruled Judea, Judea um, semi autonomously. Um, from the Sel Seleucids from 110 BCE with the uh, Seleucid, I don't think I'm saying it right, empire dis uh, disintegrating. The dynasty became fully independent, expanding into the neighboring regions of Samaria, Galilee, um, Ituria, um, Ituria, Perea, and Idumea, and took the title Basilius. Basilius, some modern scholars refer to this period as an independent kingdom of Israel. So yeah, so the Hasmonean dynasty is looked at as the time of an independent kingdom of Israel. Because Israel, you know, the temple was around a lot longer, things happened like in that region, but they were not sovereign. So it seems they were only sovereign and independent and united for two big periods of time, both under 80 years. What does this all mean? It means that the the there's so much weight given to this fig tree prophecy that time is 
really ticking by and about to come run out and come up and the 80 years is around the corner. And remember, the tribulation is 70 years if you believe that timeline, 1,260 days and then 1,290 days. When you put them together, that's just under seven years. So that being said is, um, what did this guy say in this breaking news article? He said, the third, we're in the era of the third temple. I mean, oh my gosh, like I didn't realize they were only sovereign twice and both, they've never hit 80, over 80 years. So what they're going to this time, you know, God is a, a, a God of types and shadows and patterns. And uh, this gives so much weight to that prophecy, guys. Wow. I just think that's crazy. Maybe many people knew this. I have never known this. I'm going to link the article in the description box so you can read the whole thing. Um, I just, when my friend sent this to me, I was just like, wow, like <laughs> this is crazy. I did not know this and I'm sure many did not. So all I can say is this is really encouraging for today that you, you know that they've never been sovereign for more than 80 years. So why should that change now? I'm not wishing doom and destruction. I'm wishing Bible prophecy to come to pass and the third temple to be built. And it, well, it will be built. Um, but in this time period, because it just matches that pattern. I mean, who knows, but that's what I believe is going to happen. This is really exciting, guys. And if you ever follow um, T-O-L-N Times, T-O-L-N Times, the, ch the channel with um, Brother Chooch, he has a Rapture Bang Zone like series. Basically, in that, he talks about this same thing, this fig tree prophecy, and that we're in this, this bang zone, this time period. And it just lines up with this. This is so crazy. They've never been united. They've never been sovereign for more than 80 years, two times in a row. And here we are again. They are in their 72nd year. This is crazy. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. I'm just really excited because this just gives so much weight to that prophecy. And he said, this generation shall not pass. What generation? It only makes sense. And he said, before they see all of these things, the Jews will see all of those things. We won't see all of those things, but he was talking to the, to the disciples and some people will see all of those things from the beginning to the end, from the start of the tribulation to the second coming. Some won't see every moment, but that generation will that started in 1948 when Israel became sovereign for the third time. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys are encouraged by this and it helps you get through your day. So yeah, um, read the article if you want. It's linked below. I will talk to you again soon. God bless and shalom.